please tell me it's not uh, pronounced uh, Chad Zamok. Like this is Steven Siegel, and then he's Steven Seagal. And now this is Chad Zamok. And I wasn't even going to bother with him because I've never seen a stand-up before. And I saw a lot of other people uh, declaring this guy a fucktard. Uh, but anyway, uh, I gotta say something now because I just got back from the watching the Kevin Brennan Misery Loves Company. Uh, great live stream if you can get it. And uh, this fucking guy is on there. And what a liar. Before I, I get to the part of the, uh, the clips where uh, liar face here goes off, um, I just want to, uh, just since I'm here, since we're here anyway, show you the cutest thing. Uh, it's Kevin Brennan uh, throughout the episode. He's more or less grasped what he thinks swatting is. Uh, but the cute part is that he's having difficulty with uh, common parlance. Uh, with the other guests, and he doesn't seem to be able to understand when they're agreeing with him and when they're trying to explain what real swatting was. And it goes on throughout the episode, and it's really quite funny. Adorable Kevin Brennan. I like how desperate Chrissy is. It's like, can we reenact this, me getting swatted? I had to Wait. Google what that meant. Yeah, I didn't know what it meant either, but then everyone's like, thoughts and prayers, are you okay? Yeah, they don't do anything unless you walk out with a gun, really, or anything like that. Or you... It's fake, Bob. It's fake. No, but like not Sam when the... Tripoli's conspiracy theories. They're oh, all I don't know fucking... about that. It's and a... Mike, David you know opened it's the... Wait, Mike David opened the door? No, he never opened it. He lives in a building. Because it's fake. It was really That got distorted. It's fake. Bit, Anyone bit. can knock on the door and this go, hey, he's video. not here. I'm at my... I'm at... So Chrissy, Chrissy got video. swatted. First of all, who brags they got SWAT other than Chrissy? I mean, they're so desperate. SWAT, they can they can have themselves doxxed. They can do all kinds of shit. And then mm. we're supposed to believe that. And we're supposed to believe that Chris Sam Tripley went to Mike Day to Red Bar's house. It's like unless he opens the door, he didn't go there. And unless Chrissy is like video of the cops, like actually like she could just be friends with the cop. And then uh, we'll take a picture, and I'll get swatted, and people talk about it. They didn't even have a photo for proof. They didn't even have one. No, I saw a picture of something somewhere. Not even a door? They didn't have a picture of a door like the other guy had? Yeah, <laughs> yeah not a picture of a door. Yeah, they wouldn't even go, go to Artie's the door. No, they just swatted him? Huh? Didn't you go to Artie's building and swatted him? Yeah, I swatted him. That yeah, was his building because that was his door guy. <laughs> I got swatted. But I put any amount of money, they didn't get swatted. I guarantee. It's like, of course, they didn't get swatted. It's like, so you coming. you can't to, with to pretend that the FBI is at your house. It's like Halloween. You could be an FBI agent. So no, but I mean, if you call if you call someone to get this done at somebody's house, you there has to be like jail time for that. No, I'm not saying. What a fake one! Yeah, if you get yeah, caught, because like, it's really expensive. I saw a documentary. No, I'm about saying it. the cop. No, like, I'm saying they could. They probably know cops. I know cops. I could oh, say yeah, everybody knows. Come cops. to my that's, house. And that's not. Me. That's not getting swatted though. That's just. Like, no, but I'm saying that's what I'm saying. That's that's what happened probably. What are you guys saying? A, you're saying somebody check. called. You're saying somebody called it and and had them swatted. That's what happens sometimes. And uh... okay, so we get to the parts where. Uh, Chad Zumog is uh, lying. Uh, he is. Hey, watch this too. He here's the descriptions of comedians who've gotten into trouble or in real physical. You know, Sinbad is found out to be in the hospital, learning to walk again. You can even see it on his face that he's looking for some victim status. I would attribute this to victim status culture, uh, but I think he's doing it. Yes, he is into that, but he's into that for the money. And here he goes on to describe a car accident. He was the victim of a car accident. Credit to fucking Kevin Brennan and Bob Levy, who uh, sort of Columbo the guy. They Columbo him into a bunch of inconsistencies, which hopefully some lawyers might, um, you know, want to watch some of these clips and prepare for the court case that's coming up where, of course, Chad, Chad Zamok will be requesting a shit ton of insurance money. Uh, so here, let's take a look at that. Just listen to how they box him in and box him out and fuck him up with uh, his own lies. And well, in this case, maybe, 
interesting inconsistencies. You can't get a break in this business. Fucking Gallagher died and yeah. fucking uh, Amazing Jonathan. Didn't he just die? Yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah. And now Sinbad had, Sinbad had a stroke. And and Chad got into his fucking goddamn. Now he's got a massage thing. And now you're going to get hand jobs, you fucking lucky fuck. I almost died. I almost died. I right, said, so Chad, what happened? He was on stage and no, I'm kidding. Oh, Bob, that was pretty good. Do it again. Ah, come on. I love you. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I want to hear how it happened because I know that they're horrible. Like, you, you don't know it's coming. And when you see it coming, when, by the time you know it, it's usually too late with an accident. I know when it's coming. No, it was just a car wreck. It was fucked up. It was like, we we're leaving the gig. And yes, I didn't do well. I'll admit that. And, At the car uh, crash? <laughs> yeah. I didn't do well in the car crash. Wait, were you with a you were with another comic? No, I was with a girl, I know. A and lady friend? She she is a lady friend. She was driving because I wanted to have a couple cocktails, you know. But uh yeah, now we're dealing with it all behind the scenes now. We got a lawyer. It's, it's gonna be a big legal war. It's gonna go on. And it was a whole thing. There was a witness, thank God, and it was all, they had cameras, and so we're good. But I didn't really have a conversation with the guy. We just asked if we had insurance, and he said, uh, I think there's a lapse of insurance, and the, the police confirmed it. I don't know. I don't know the full story. So, How'd you get home? Uh, the Actually, the police officer drove me home from the hospital because I didn't have a ride. Sounds like he's a good friend of yours. Yeah, He's, he's, he's a quality guy. And he stayed at the, at the hospital the whole time and then drove you home? No, no. Um, we basically... Is that the guy who, gave, who, who found your book bag? No, he came by because he wanted to get some more information. Wait, so he, so he gave you a ride home. How about your lady? How did she get a ride? She was sleeping still, and her parents came to get her. Her parents? At the yeah, scene? Down here. How old is she? 14. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. That, she was sleeping where? At the scene or? No, the hospital. Parents? We went to the hospital. Who got? Oh, so she got in an ambulance then. Yeah. And uh, the kid got in the ambulance too. And they did one a blood test on him. They found out there was marijuana in a system like Bob Levy. Hey, man. It stays there a long time. So you might as well keep smoking it. Wait, you got, you got in the same ambulance? What's that? You all got in the same ambulance? They got in the ambulance. I rode with the police officer. Are you because fucking that rolling. police officer? Yeah, so. <laughs> Spending a lot of time with that cop. <laughs> he's here right now. He, he's swatting me. <laughs> it, they two heard in the same thing with this guy who just fucking plowed you guys and fucking took it. Like, they said weed was the problem. Was the core. Like, I've never seen anybody <laughs> weed like fucking driving like a maniac. It's not like he was a rapist, and they put her in the same car as the victim. <laughs> it was just like yeah, but I wouldn't want to be in a in a car with a, in an ambulance with a guy who just hit me. Yeah, she was in pain, and he was in pain, and I was fine. So my 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 neck's stiff as hell, but that's about it. Well, what happened to him? What He's dating her now. Now, what happened to the guy who said he was in pain? What happened to him? They took him to the hospital. No, what happened to him? What? Why was he in pain? Because he was in a car wreck i don't know what exactly well, you were too and you said you weren't in pain but i wasn't examining him we were in different rooms i didn't i, I it was so no, much i'm saying when he went to the ambulance why they put him in the ambulance and not you because they, they were asking if i was fine and he he wasn't fine he said uh, I, I don't feel good I, I don't you know whatever so he wasn't a delivery guy or anything i don't know anything about him uh, it's all coming you know out what they I, say weed kills or is that speed kills but anyway weed kills sometimes too and you can tell just by the way, as you ask him each question, he uses a lot of the same tricks Bert Crusher does. He uh, will flood it with details, um, tr even sometimes trivial or obscure details. And then we go back to vagary. I'm not actually upset with the guy for his insurance scam. Uh, it's the next part that bothers me. And as they keep grilling him, he tries to go off on some more lies. And I'm gonna tell you what bothers me about this. Um, it's one thing when you lie about, uh, you know, if you're Tom Segura and Burt Crusher lying about uh, chugging beer contests at colleges they never went to, or uh, how much weed they did, or 
you know, even if you're lying about industry things, like nobody's going to check up on Will Smith to find out if Burt Crusher really did take his shirt off and start rapping and all, and DMX was, you know, nobody cares. But when you have real people, like civilians, if we will, there's real people who uh, aren't part of the industry, nor are they uh, some kind of like subject of a made up joke or something. Fucking, what a fucking horrible thing to accuse them of something like brutal, brutal, not just child abuse as in spanking kids too hard or something. Things that actually are worst people in our society in a prison in a, or a jail or a remand center for that matter, if they found out that you were someone that was beating the fuck out of kids, punching their faces in, you're doomed in that facility because even our worst thieves and criminals and murderers, I mean, they would do that to other adults, but they'll, they'll make your life miserable if we're doing it to kids. Yeah, so there is this stepfather out there somewhere and then his mother and they're being, you know, imagine they find out, you know, like people are finding like, what's going on? We heard that you were beating up your, you were beating children, punching their faces in and, 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 and horribly torturing and assaulting them. What if they are, if they've passed away? So that all could be a lie, by the way. If that was true too, that's just about as bad or worse, you know? And then that man's children have to find out that, you know, they're visiting their father's grave. He's been accused of being one of the most disgusting human beings to do the most horrible things to children. And that man can't defend himself. So this is what pisses me off is that you're going into a story of lies that really hurt. By the way, if they're alive, you could destroy their career, their income, their reputation, everything. They could lose their jobs and houses. You, now, you've you never smoked weed? Go. I've never smoked weed and I've never drank coffee. Swear to God. How about cocaine? Never done yeah. cocaine. The only thing I've done is booze. That's it. Not... Really? Why, why have you never had coffee? Because I had an abusive stepfather, and you weren't allowed to talk to him until he had his coffee or he'd hit you. And I was like, I'm never drinking coffee ever, ever. Wait, I'm confused. So so you thought, because your stepdad was a douche, after he got his coffee, he was okay, right? Yeah, you were allowed to speak to him after his coffee. But if you spoke to him before the coffee, he would hit you with a closed fist. I'm kind of that guy. way. Yeah, that guy really likes coffee, huh? Holy shit. Yeah, but I still don't see how you staying away from coffee makes it better for you. Because yeah. you don't want to be that guy. You don't want to beat the fuck out of himself. Coffee. You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be punching people before you, you get your first cup of coffee. Yeah. Oh, you want to so hear you've a good story? So you've never had your first cup of coffee. Never never even tasted wow. it. My birthday, December 27th. Sign up to the Patreon. That must have sucked for your stepdad to not have to be able to hit you around the holidays. Oh, he, he hit you. He did? Yeah. He beat me up pretty bad. Wait, your stepdad beat you up? Yeah. Where where you been, Bob? Oh, no, I thought it was your regular dad. Okay, that sucks, man. Well, that, my real that... dad left me before I was born. <laughs> what happened? My real dad left me before I was born. Jesus. Before the man. roast. Before the <laughs> Before the Kevin Brennan vote on October 30th or whatever it was. Holy shit. October 1st or 2nd. No, October 2nd. Kevin, here's a great story about how I found him. My stepdad died because he died during COVID. Oh, he did? Yeah. Congratulations. I we took a year off. Um, <laughs> so my aunt calls me and she's like, I, I got good news and bad news. And I go, okay, what's the good news? She goes, well, I think it's the same for you. I went to get uh, put flowers on your mom's grave, and your dad's buried. Your stepdad's buried next to her. I go, what? He's dead. I go, did you know? She's like, I just found out. We don't even know how he died or what happened. There was no oh, funeral. Wow. Wasn't an insult to you that your mom would be buried next to him? I didn't have anything to do with it. My my. No, but I'm, I'm saying, husband. didn't your mom know that you hated him? Yeah, she was a victim. She was an abuse victim. She got hit too. So and she he hit her. He hit both of you. Oh, I'm sure. Stepdads don't just stop. Yeah. Like they where'd you find this guy? <laughs> I never found him. My mom. At a gym. He well, financially I mean... saved our family because he had a really good job. But then he just beat the living shit out of us. And he had a previous. So family. it kind of evened itself out. He yeah. saved you financially. I'm like, yeah, we at least we can eat tonight. But 
My eyes sore. <laughs> Eat your dinner, you little prick. Put that, steak. put that steak on your black eye. <laughs> and then Stop cook wearing it your her. food, you faggot. <laughs> That's terrible. So he saved you financially, but did he have another family? He, my mom, I found out, it's, it's a crazy story. My mom met him. He was cheating on his wife at the time. And that's how they, like, got together. And next thing you know, the, the wife found out he was cheating, and then my mom married him, so. <laughs> wow. And, yeah, it was crazy, because my mom was a bartender, and he would go to the bar that she worked at and hit on her. Wow. Then he would hit her after. This is fucking weird. He would hit on her and then hit her. That's he fucking the hell crazy. out of all of us, and then as soon as they got married, he moved in. That's when he started beating the shit out of all of us. How I mean, many kids were there? Like to the face. How, many How old kids? were you? Did you ever? Did you ever fight back? Uh, I was at the time eleven. I, I I left my house when I was seventeen. I went I went and stayed with my friends my senior year, their families, because the abuse was just too much. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was it was pretty it was horrific, man. It was pretty <coughs> bad. Did he you ever try to? One time huh? he kicked me in the face with a cowboy boot on. I was a little kid, and I was on the ground. I Jeez. fell back, and we had a bubblegum ball machine. The back of my head hit the bubblegum machine. It shattered everywhere. I had, like, a black eye. I was unconscious. Were you in concussion <laughs> protocol? I was. I, I wasn't allowed to play for the Dolphins. He cooked you with his boot? Kicked me in the face. What I, what'd I say? Cooked, cooked him. Kicked him with a boot. So wait, I, I I would never kick my kids with a boot because that might ruin the boot. I don't wear shoes, so I wouldn't. All right, you kick him with your big toe. <laughs> Did he ever do anything else since, like, somebody that? Did that he ever crazy? like get yeah. into your bed and try to give you a long yeah. hug? No, he never sexually did anything. It was just all physical. He would come in my room and just trash it. Sexual like, is physical too. And... I had baseball cards, and I was a baseball card collector. He would rip the baseball cards in front of me. Like Ricky Henderson what? rookie, Don yeah. Mattingly rookie. <laughs> no, Kevin, he's the king, not you. His dad's the king. You wow. see? That's fucking power. Was he drunk when he's doing this? That's the sad part. He wasn't drunk. He's Ooh, just not even an alcoholic. He I didn't have his coffee yet. Later in life, <laughs> yeah. he just didn't have his coffee. Later he had, in life, his, he had his coffee in 15 years. What time did this guy <laughs> have his coffee? Maybe move that up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the day. <laughs> You can put an alarm in those things to get him at seven. Yeah, it bruise itself. Get him a Keurig. Because I think he he, he was uh, he felt pain for what he did. What when afterwards did he ever say to you, Chad? I and call you and go, I'm sorry, I used to hit you. Did he ever? Not once. Nothing. Then why did he say he felt pain for what he did? Yeah. No, I think that's the reason why he became an alcoholic later in life. Because I think he realized like he left. He abandoned his previous. He has like two kids on the other side. They they changed their their name. And they were like in high school. That's how much they. Wait, he became an alcoholic after he beat you. Yeah, he had no one else to hit. What's that, Bob? He had no one else to hit, so he became an alcoholic. He everybody moved on, right? Yeah. And and then he's by himself, so he, now he has no power to torture people. Well, when my brother died, he was the one who got run over by the car. That's when the abuse stopped. He quit hitting everybody. So my brother dying is what ended the. Wait, he was your brother. He was. He was. That guy's son or not? He wasn't related. It was no. My they had my mom. Mom had a kid with that guy. He had two kids, and oh. I still have a brother, but I don't speak to him because he picked up all the bad personality traits as my stepfather. So I was so like, he I had don't two brothers from this other dude. Whoa. Yeah, and they live with you. When I was younger, yeah, but when the when the brother died, my brother John, when he was nine, he got ran over. Did your dad what, run him over? Your stepdad? No, my my brother stepbrother was playing in the car, and he put it in neutral. And he ran around to stop the car because he knew he'd get in trouble by my stepfather. He'd probably get hit, and the car just ran him over. Jesus, that's terrible, Chad. I apologize. Yeah. That's I've apologized for anything I've ever done to you. That's you have a horrible. I mean, I, I right, still have uh, it worse with Neil being more successful, but you have a horrible, <laughs> horrible fucking upbringing. That's terrible. No wonder you're so fucked up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, do, no, you think, uh, do you think? Do you think you feel better? Like, is that how you? Anyway, when you like act out, do you think it's because of your troubled childhood? Oh yeah, I mean, I've been my whole adult life is trying to deal with the past. It just, it's definitely traumatized me. When that's you the use... reason... Okay, go ahead. That's the reason why I'm not married because I don't want to like. I, right. You know, it's just I don't want to like family. They hurt me, so why would I have a family? Because I got right. hurt by my family. 
Like if I if I was raised the way Chad was raised and my dad punched me at the end of Thanksgiving, yeah, I'd probably hate Thanksgiving. <laughs> I can't believe that. I'm shocked at that. To live That's like terrible. that, to fucking have your dad leave when you were a baby and then fucking before you were born. Yeah, he, I might yeah Chad, I'm... you're not even that fucked up considering how bad you had it. You should be more fucked up, truthfully. <laughs> yeah, no, you should really. be dead. You should be dead by now. Yeah, I'm, I'm a college graduate, so I just, yeah. yeah pull it out where it's pretty Ohio. amazing yeah it's a it's a worthless degree but i'm somewhat of a success story my mom never beat me so so i got chad yeah. beat on that one chad that is really horrible you fr- you're fucking so if if he ever punched you after he had his coffee would that be like a big deal would you be like yeah. hey, that's kind of cheating yeah i mean i think he did but yeah it, it, I, I was like that's not fair hey <laughs> you're out of line now you had your coffee <laughs> did your mother ever beat you what's that did your mother beat you um she you know, smacked me here and there early on but then she stopped after the amount of beatings i got from her husband so she took like, her out of the game that. yeah we'd be piling on if she hits you after that <sighs> that would be fucked up they're both beating the fuck out of you i mean i i can't imagine that you know Oh, I got stories for days that you guys would be like, what the fuck? I, I went to a counselor once. The guy's mouth was hanging open. like, But they couldn't do anything? Everything. He couldn't do anything to stop him? But he just couldn't believe it actually happened to me. No, but did the authorities step in? Yeah. I called the police one time. And, no, but, from school, when you told the counselor at school, he didn't do anything? I was like an abusive wife. I just said, you know, I fell down the stairs because I was scared mm-hmm. he would kill me. He was, I thought he was going to kill me if I told him. No, but you said the counselor was like his mouth was like he couldn't believe what you were telling him, but he couldn't do anything to stop him? No, this was later on down the road when I'm dealing oh. with all the psychological effects of this. Oh. So I was like, they're like, oh, my God. It was crazy. Does it make you want to hit people like when you drink? No, I, I want to do the opposite. That, but that's why I yell. I think that's why I act out a lot. Because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always on the defense. Always. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's Burt Crusher levels of pathological lying. But like I say, I'm really pissed off because you don't want to just go off on these lies about real identifiable civilian people. Your family. Uh, I mean, if any of that was true, fuck that guy. But, uh, you know, and his mother too? She beat him? Really? Anyway, nice job by the team of uh, Bob Levy and uh, everyone there. Guys, I'm gonna, uh, I'll am gonna i leave a link to that episode, uh, Misery Loves Company. And for fun, what I'd love it is uh, go through it and just see if you can, how many Chad Zumach lies you can spot, uh, because it's a lot of them. Okay, that's it. I'm going back to making a more positive videos. And actually, fuck that. Uh, there's I found this fucking guy. No, anyway, you'll see it in my next video, I hope. All right, that's it. Bat Snacks out.